Well, we'll see what happens. That is uh, coming up on Sunday. The Dolphins are now he are one and zero, headed to play Jacksonville. Uh, let's do a little injury update. How are uh, how are the Dolphins looking health wise going into this weekend? Uh, Rashad Jones is battling a hamstring injury, and he's also got a shoulder thing. I'm not sure if he's going to practice this week, but I I do expect him to play. He looks fine in the locker room. Probably is just going to get treatment. Um, Rashad is a very important player because I believe that he is a Pro Bowl caliber player. I believe he's probably the best strong safety in the NFL. If you challenge that, make sure you have a good name. So Jamel, if you if you got a challenge, who's the best, best strong safety, safety in the league? Bring, bring it and. Olivier Vernon. Vernon. I think he's going to be down in a couple weeks. Uh, I think this is a Coamicias injury. Um, it was a bad ankle sprain. Um, he tried to play through it. He couldn't. He's walking with a limp in locker room. A, a, a bad, you know, the, one of those kind of limps. I, I have a hard time believing that he plays this week. One thing that uh, we said in the preseason, we both gave our first our first guy to make the Pro Bowl. You mm -hmm. know, to our, our Dolphins player to make their first Pro Bowl. Yes. What the question was. You took Rashad Jones. I took Jarvis Landry. I think we both are looking yeah, pretty good after listen, week one. I mean, um, certainly Jarvis Landry on that punt return for a touchdown that that turned the game over on its head. Amazing play. Um, he's been doing something in terms of run after catch lately, and he's been doing it in practice too, where it's the little shiggle yeah. and shimmy <laughs> shake, and I'm not gonna go down. And, and it, I never thought it would work. It's been pretty effective. He's a hard guy to tackle and will get yards after catch. And you know, considering Ryan Tannehill's conservative style, uh, Jarvis Landry is going to get a lot of opportunities. Uh, it's going to keep on happening yes. every single week. Uh, let's take uh, another question from at Luke Fader. Does Vigil's amount of play time in week one say more about Vigil or Shepard? Break down the middle linebacker position for this team. Um, funny, I, I put it up a video on Instagram. Zach Vigil played significant minutes mm -hmm. as the third linebacker, as the inside guy, splitting time with Kelvin Shepard. All Dolphin fans are super excited. They're comparing him to Zach Thomas. Okay. Truthfully speaking, he sucked. Okay, a right. And it wasn't good. Right. Um, but, you know, he's white and he's a linebacker, so he has to be Zach Thomas. Okay, right. It, it, we need to uh, compare them. Yeah, you have to compare them. He can't be Larry Izzo. He has <laughs> to be Zach Thomas. Um, I see why they're playing him. He's got the instincts, needs to trigger faster, needs to get to be able to hold his block, hold his gap, um, not get washed away from plays. If that's what you're going to do, mm. and I'm okay if that's what you're going to do, you're going to invest in Zach Vigil, you better make sure that he's not a liability. And on the plays where he was on the field, Jacksonville drove straight down the field. Mm and were able to effectively do whatever they wanted to. There's a reason why. So It wasn't all on him, but he wasn't good. Does that mean that Kelvin Shepard can't handle this starting position? Is I don't know. I, I, they were been very high on Kelvin Shepard all the training camp. It puzzles me why they just all of a sudden decided to split the reps. Now, in fairness to Kelvin Shepard, he's not the nickel. Cole Misi and Jelani Jenkins are the nickel, which means they play on every down. The, only, the guy only comes in, you know, a, a, in a, you play in your nickel package 700 snaps a year. Right. You've got 11, you, you've got uh, 1,100 snaps on total base defense. So we're really talking about a guy who's gonna play 400 to 600 snaps. Now, why you would split that between two players? <laughs> that uh, doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't it's not for resting purposes. Yeah. Because there are other guys that maybe, would need it more. Maybe in theory, because they did play safeties in a rotation as well. Maybe in theory, they believe if they rotate players now, they will be healthier in December um, when this team is usually piss poor. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I, I, I really don't have a good answer, don't have a good feel. Well, then you'd rotate Ko who hasn't played a lot in the past couple of weeks, and he was out there a lot. Yes. And played well. It played well. 11 yeah. tackles. I don't, I don't want to say play well. If... if Koamisi and Jelani Jenkins made more tackles instead of missing tackles. Um, sh you know, you probably would have had a better defensive performance. But the hole is still in that middle, in the middle guy. Yes. Um, let's switch to the running game. Okay. We didn't see a lot of it. <laughs> you mean you know, two yards on four carries in the first half? It was pretty rough. Now, you ask any of those offensive players, they know they didn't didn't play all that well in that first half, but they also like to say we did not get a, a lot, lot of, of snaps. opportunities. Did not Correct. get a lot of chances. However, if you get more first downs, then you keep the ball and you get more opportunities. Absolutely. So there's two ways to you look at that. You were three and out on the first drive, and then the second drive, you failed to convert a short third yard, third down, and you failed to convert a fourth and one. Mm -hmm. uh, what, do you, what do you want? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, that, it's, it's, I mean, it's partially the defense's fault for not getting uh, off the field, but at the same time, 
You had the ball in your hands. Yes, it, it is a, you know what, football is a total team game. And how did you win that game against Washington? You won it through special teams. Right. That is a perfect example how football is a team game. The defense did not get the job done early. They did get it late, done mm -hmm. late. They did. The offense did not get the job done early. They put themselves in position to finish out the game with you know, killing out the clock after the second time. Mm -hmm. um, and special teams, Jarvis Landry flipped it right on his head. And, and that's a team win. Those are the games that the Dolphins would have lost in mm -hmm. previous years. So it's good, so it's a good sign. What about this uh, running game? Is it gonna uh, turn around this week? I don't know. I, I can't honestly tell you what's going to happen with the running game. I need to see the offensive line get into gear. I need to see them against a probably lesser defensive line. Mm -hmm. I thought Washington was a lesser defensive mm -hmm. line, but um, Jacksonville is not. Jacksonville is no slouch. That defensive line, Chris Clemens, Jared Audrick, um, they've, they've got some players on that defensive line. So this isn't the game to say, oh, we're, we're going to put on our, our beef eating, you know, big bib and, and start running the ball like men. Uh, no, you're going to pass the ball like Joe Philbin teams do. You're yeah. going to pass, pass, pass. <laughs> I, thought it, I thought it was funny that we talked all this offseason and the preseason about how this team needs to finish. Mm -hmm. You know, they need to finish games, they need to finish drives, they need finish to finish the, the red season. zone, and, and then did nothing. Uh, and th they were starting. They the problem with the starting of the game. Oh, but they always had starting issues. Okay, so it, it, starting they, they games, had, it's the middle that, that they're okay at. Yeah, right it's, it's the middle, yes. They're good from the 20 to the 20. Well, that's true. You know, I, they got the ball with two minutes, and there's one thing about this team. Hurry is that up. They have a, they're great at the hurry up. And you had a good feeling, even though you had no good reason to have a good feeling in that yes. first half, that offense, that they were going to do something in the last two minutes of the first I, half. I always did. wonder why Tannehill can't make those aggressive throws the entire game. Why is it only in a two-minute <laughs> offense? Know. Just, just you know, I'm just saying. I don't just know. Something to ponder. One more quick Twitter question uh, from uh, Joari Soto. What's going on with Chris McCain? Chris Inactive. McCain is in the Kevin Coyle doghouse. Mm -hmm. And when you get in the Kevin Coyle doghouse, it's very difficult to get out. And right now, he does not contribute that much on special teams. Um, Neville Hewitt is basically playing over him and is a contributor on special teams. Chris McCain is a pass rushing specialist. He should be active and in the game, especially with Olivier Vernon down. You need some extra pass rushing, um, especially against Blake Bortles, who, who took five sacks last week. Problem is, when you're in the doghouse, sometimes you don't get a bone. Mm -hmm.